Today's the day. Well, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're gonna we're shopping for the uh, floor, and I'm gonna go with this guy here. 100% waterproof. Okay. It's like a vinyl floor. It's a nice color. It is the okay, the gray. It comes with the underlayment already, so I don't have to worry about that. All right. We're gonna get these home and we're gonna start the job. All right, so we're back. We're bringing this stuff in from the truck. Key is, is prepping this floor, making sure there's no bumps. Make sure it's even. I had to grind a little bit there, okay? Get all the mud that dripped, scrape it all. Go over it a few times, this way you vacuum it nice and flat. All right, and we're gonna start laying this stuff down. All right? Gotta keep a space between the walls. For expansion put quarter inch spacers in it. I bought a kit with a rubber hammer and it comes with spacers one side has a quarter inch the other one's a half put the quarter inch down in the corner all the way through and then you can start coming off of that all right so when you do your first row all the way down you got to take the next piece cut it in half because you got a full piece here, then you have a seam with a half piece. You have to stagger. You don't want seams going straight across, okay? The other thing is, take your time doing these because if you see a little seam and it's a tiny bit opened up like that, I gotta bang it together. You know, like right here would be a seam, but you gotta use this block. I bought this kit, it's got a little lip on it. Put it on the edge, give it a few taps, and close those seams up. All right, it's very important you take your time and close the seams. And I went from an old floor to a new, and it was off a little bit, settling and everything else, older shed, if you watch my other videos. So it's working a lot better than I thought. Okay, but that's it. You basically have to put your spacers in. Space at that part a quarter inch also, a quarter inch on that end, and you won't see any of that because I'm going to put some baseboard and then some quarter around if I have to. All right? But that's it. The key is, is take your time, stagger the pieces. Um, this particular floor has these lips. All right, you take a piece. Let's see if I got a small one just to show you. I got a smaller piece here. So you always want the lip on the out end. You can see here, it basically goes in, tilt it up a little bit, and then push down, and it's locked in place, okay? That's pretty much it. When you have to cut your pieces, remember to cut and keep a lip on the end for the next piece. I, I made a mistake two or three times. I cut straight ends, so when I started staggering and I came over here like this, say I'm staggering off the wall, there's no lip end here. So make sure you leave the lip end in when you're cutting the little pieces. Um, I don't do a lot of these. This particular one with the underlayment and it's a little bit wider. I did one before, it was a little bit, uh, wasn't as wide as this. Um, they make it look easy on these videos, but I gotta tell you, just take your time. Once you go to two, three, four rows, then you pretty much got it. So that's it. Let me finish up. I will show you when we're finished with the uh, floor and see what it looks like. All right, when, when doing this uh, flooring to stagger, when I said cut one in half, full, half full, if you look there, you got a full one and then you got a half. You see the seam, full, seam, full. What I want to do is change it up. I'm going to put a piece in. Okay, remember to have, don't cut the lip off. Don't cut this lip part off, because that's got to catch the next one. So you're going to put the board down towards the wall here, all right? And there's a seam here and one here. So I'm just going to mark it right here, right in the middle of the two seams. I'm going to cut it, okay? And remember, I'm not cutting off this part here. So we're going to come over and we're just going to, if we got about, I don't know, eight inches, we're going to cut it right here. We're going to mark it right there, eight. Okay, so we're going to cut it on this side, and the reason being on this side, obviously, you need this lip to catch the next board. Alright, so let's do that. 
I like to, and it'll give it a more of a natural look, hardwood floor look if you stagger more than just on off, on off, okay? All right, well, it's coming along. I got a little bit left, all right? I can't stress it enough. Check every seam. If you got to hit it with the little block, just take your time and do it. Um, it's pretty tight. It's looking good. Another important uh, tool you're going to need. Right here, kid. Knee pads, all right? You definitely need the knee pads because my knees are killing me. And uh, you end up with a lot of scrap. Um, some of these ends, if you don't have a locking end to hook up with, you know, to continue, uh, you can't use it. I mean, I'm sure you could use it in some spaces in a bigger room in a back corner somewhere, but you just want to have as much of that locking as possible. All right, so let me finish this up. All right, it's it. It's finished. Came out nice. All I have to do is baseboard. I'll take those uh, spacers out. Those are quarter inch spacers. Because this floor is going to move a little bit. Alright, that's the most important thing. Make your, uh, put a gap from the wall from your first line and from the other sides too. You know, this thing's going to move. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Looks good. Looks real good. I appreciate everybody watching and taking the time. And I also uh, appreciate all the new subscribers. So let's see, what do we got to do? We did the uh, that, we did the floor. Now we got to just trim out these windows. Window stop, trim, all that other stuff. And around the door, baseboard, trim. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a quarter round because I put a piece of trim and it covers all the spaces. So uh, yeah. I got lucky with that. All right, we'll take care, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Wait a minute. Yo, Sonny! Yo, Sonny! Where is he? Be back here. Sonny? Is my man hiding behind here, cuz? Sonny? Yo, Sonny! Yeah, Sonny.